hey guys and welcome back to another video so today I'm going to be talking about change and just how to deal up uh, how to deal with change when change happens in your life and my example for this is going to come from last Friday um, which would be Friday um, June 28th so I was gonna go running at our local track because we live near a university and they have a track that's open to the public when they don't have events and you can go and run and walk and stuff like that and I was gonna take my youngest son with me also we had another errand to run I needed to go pick up my oldest son's medicine from the hospital which the university and the children's hospital are not far from each other so I wanted to kill two birds with one stone so anyway we get to the track and as I'm pulling as I'm driving on the side of the street where I see the track I see a big sign that says it's closed the street is closed and then there was a big sign for a marathon so they were preparing for a marathon that weekend so the track was um closed so I was bummed I was just like man you know I really wanted to just get 30 minutes in so I was thinking about what we could do because I didn't want to be too far away from the house and there was another trail that uh, was pushing another side of town but I really didn't want to do that and the weather that day was really hot and the medicine that I had to pick up for my oldest son was it's a medicine that has to be refrigerated and because I thought that the track was going to be open um, I was going to go to the track first and then run and go pick up his medicine but because the track was closed due to the marathon I didn't want to risk trying to go to another trail that was further away from my house and have um, this medicine sit in a hot car so I'm thinking and my youngest son is like you know mommy what are you gonna do and I said I don't know I'm gonna try to figure it out so we go and pick up the medicine and then I we get back in the car and I said do you want to go to a park And he said yes and I gave him two options of um, which park we go to because whichever park he would have chose I could have still got a workout in so he chose um, this one park and it's in a town that's not far from where I live probably about less than 10 minutes away so we get the medicine and we take it back to the house and uh, put it in the refrigerator and then we head out to this other park so and the interesting thing is before we headed to the park I had told my youngest son I said um, our plans may have to change again um, and I said that not because I not because I knew what was going to happen at this park we were going to go to but I said that because um, his dad their dad might have wanted to do something and we might have to switch the time frame to where we wanted to go to the park and that means you know I would have had to work out here at the house so anyway I was just prepping him and saying hey you know the plans might change again so just be prepared and if it does you know try not to be too upset but everything was still a go for us to go to the park so we get out to this park and we get there and um, a good part of the trail is closed and the parking lot was closed because they had set up for a fair so the fair was probably going to open that night but they came in um, earlier in that day and they set up the rides and all of that stuff the carnival rides and all of that stuff so um, we couldn't get down to the playground at least I thought were well, the playground we wanted to go to so there was this little stretch of a track or a trail and I told my son I said well let's you know just let's just walk this trail for a little bit this little piece so we stretched and we were walking and he was getting impatient and he was you know just saying um well can't we ask somebody if we can get down to the park down there and I was like I'll see I didn't just want to go up and just I wanted the situation to just present itself and that's what happened this lady she was walking um where we were and I had asked her if there was a entrance to get down to the park on the other side because I didn't know I only knew this one way to get into this park so she was, she told me yes it was and she told me where to go and I was like oh okay 
So we hop in the car and we go around to the entrance and we pull in and the part of the park that he wanted to get on, which is for the older kids, it was closed. They had it all taped off with caution tape and um, the uh, parking lot they had marked and it said um, parking for the event. So all of that space was gonna be reserved for parking and for the fair that was you know right down the street so we he could not play at that park and he was he was bothered i was bothered too because i really wanted to walk the trail the long the, the full trail and i said you know what we got to make the best of this situation and it really you know it tested me um because i was aggravated because i'm thinking you know what what are the odds that the track is now closed because of a marathon and now this park that we want to go to that has this nice walking trail it's closed because of a fair and you know I didn't know these things so um, he was he was bothered and he dealt with it in his way and I dealt with it in my way but where we were at so there was this not there's this other little playground and it's for younger kids but he's old enough to where he can go on it, but he doesn't really care for it. They did, they do have swings on this, at this playground. So he did like the swings and he sat there and nobody else was there. So there was a nice little chunk of um, trail right in front of the playground. So I could run back and forth and still see him. And like I said, nobody else was at the park at that time it was just us in the little parking lot where we were at it was only our vehicle there so I could see you know see him fine so I ran a couple of laps back and forth and um, you know he was still bothered by it and I was like you know I understand but I said eventually you have we have to move on and the point of all of this is dealing with change I sat down and I was talking with my, my youngest son and I said, you know, what life lesson can we learn from this? And, you know, and then I tied it into the fruits of the spirit as well. And he was like, you know, um, he was like having peace. I said, yeah. I said, we can have peace with the fact that even though things didn't go the way we wanted it to go, we still found something that we could do, you know, so we have peace about that. And then uh, that's not the one I wanted him to really hone in on. So then I kept trying to, you know, talk to him a little bit more and trying to get him to say patience. And he finally said patience. And I said, exactly. I said, this is a good lesson in teaching us how to be patient. Again, we cannot control the environment outside of our house. We can control the environment inside of our house. But when we step out those doors, we can't control things. And I said, you know, I did not know it was going to be a fair. I did not know it was going to be a um, marathon this weekend. But we have to accept that these things happen. And we have to learn how to adapt and move on and not allow this unexpected change to um, affect us in a negative way. And I was encouraging him and myself. I said, again we can't control the things that happen outside of our house and the changes but I said what we can control is how we respond to it and I tried to stay you know calm and, and settled through this whole thing I mean yeah when I when we first went to the track and I saw that it was a marathon I was like oh man a marathon and I was really scrambling trying to figure out a plan B and then when we got to the park and I saw that it was a fair, I just chuckled. I was just like, I was like, well, it is what it is. But it was good to try, try to walk him, not just walk him through that, but to let him see how I was handling it and that I wasn't upset. And again, there was nothing wrong with him being upset. But, you know, we got, we got to move on and what you can do, enjoy what you can do. So, um, trying to remember, trying to get back on track. So patience, so I was talking about patience. So I said to him, you know, this marathon, 
it's only going to be this weekend it's not like they have marathons all the time and i said and with this fair this fair is only going to be here for a couple of days i said you know what we can always come back to these places because we don't live far from them so i said we'll come back and you can play and have fun but i said we have to be patient and we have to let these events pass so it just really um encouraged me to just continue to challenge myself to deal with adversity, to deal with change, and to um, look at the positives in it. And not always the, well, oh man, this didn't work, work the way I wanted it to, and oh, I couldn't do what I wanted, wanted to, but you know, where's the peace, where's the patience, and where's the joy? So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And, um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that. And if you have any questions or comments, leave it down below. Also, I wanted to say, if you are here and you just wanna watch videos like this where I'm talking about um, life and parenting and motherhood and stuff like that, then you should come back on Wednesdays. I do these type of videos the first and third Wednesdays of the month. And if you are here and you want to see crafting videos check me out on Fridays so I do crafting videos every first and third Fridays of the month so all right guys I'll see you in my next video bye